Welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with our video. In this video, we will learn how to integrate Bluetooth printer with our Flutter application. So this is our application. So here we have list of that content of data. And now if I click on that print button, now we will select the printer here. So it will get print out from our device. So you can see here that printout has been came. So this is the printout which came from our printer. So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So in this tutorial, we require two packages. First one is the Intel and this package is used for our formatting and all. And we are going to use it for our formatting of the amount. And for that purpose, we will use. And also we can use this package for the date formatting and all. And the second package is Blueprint. And that will be used for our connectivity with the Flutter with our Bluetooth and the thermal printer. And for that purpose, we will use this package. And this package is available in both Android and iOS. And also it's mentioned that like it's support the null safety, but we tested in our application the null safety is not working properly fine so now let's move to the code part So here we will add both the packages. The first one is INTL and the version number we are using here 0.17.0. Then we have the Bluetooth underscore print and the version number we are using it 3.0.1. So now we will create one page here and that page will be our you can say as a print preview screen and there we can have the read only item product item and all and here we will name the page as a home underscore page dot dot file and we will make it as a stateless visit home page. So here we are not doing any database connectivity and all and just we are making the static page with our static data and you can also you can in the similar way you can implement the preview screen with your live data or anything by just replacing this static data with your api hit or any other database and here we will create final list type of map string dynamic data and here we will create the collection here and here we will add title and this will the product title and here we are adding first product Cadbury dairy milk then we are adding here price 15 then we are adding here quantity 2 in the same way we will copy this and we will paste it 5 times and here we will change that our product name and here we have parlay g glucose biscuit then we have the price here we will change it to 5 quantity we will change it to 5 then we have our third product and we are adding here fresh onion 1 kg then we have the price here we are putting here 20 the quantity we are putting here 1 then we have another product here and we are adding a fresh sweet lime and the price we are putting here 20 and the quantity we are putting here 5 then we have our last product and we are putting here maggie and the price we are putting here 10 the quantity we are putting here 5 so now here we will create one variable here and that variable will be used for our formatting of number and here we will put final f is equal to number format and here we'll put the format here first we put the currency here and we are taking currency as a dollar and then we have hash 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 comma hash 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 dot zero zero then we are telling here locale of that to format and we are using here en underscore us so what it will do it will convert our number to our this format first it append that currency here then it will format the number in comma separate format and then here we have that build function and here we will get one variable here in type of underscore total is equal to zero and, and this total variable will be used for our total of these total products and all and here we have underscore total is equal to data dot map and we will do the mapping from this data and here we have e price into e and here we will pick quantity so here we are just multiplying our price with our quantity so it will give us the total of that particular product then we will do all the sum of these all rows for doing that we have to put here reduce and here we have value plus element so now here we will create our visit here and we are going to use a careful visit and then we have our app bar here and here we are putting app bar and here we have the title here and we are using a text visit for that and the title we are putting here flutter hyphen thermal printer and then we have our background color and we are going to use our favorite color that is color dot red ascent and then we have our body here and there we are going to use our column visit and the first visit we are going to use is expanded visit because inside that we are going to use our list view and that list view can be increased 
increase so that's why we are going to use the expanded wizard here and here we have list view dot builder and here we have the item count here and we are having count from data dot length and then we have the item builder here and here we have column and then we have the index here and from here we will return list style and here we have the title here the title we are going to use the text visit data and we will pick from our index then we have the title here and this title will be this one that product name then we will put here to string then we have the style here and we are using a text style font size we are going to use 16 and then we have our font weight here and we are using a font weight dot bold after that we are having subtitle and there we are going to show our product price and the quantity and here we have the text visit and here we have dollar f dot format because we are going to uh, show the price in the format of this variable and for that we are going to use here f dot format and here we have to pass the value here and the value is data then we have the i then we have the price here price then we are putting an x then we have to copy this and we have to paste here and here we will show quantity and for showing that we have to put here square brackets and here we have our dollar sign so we have the trailing also and the trailing we are going to use the text visit and there we are showing our total amount of that particular product by multiplying our price with our quantity and here we have data i dot then we have price into data i then we have our quantity and we will do here formatting also and for that we have to put here f dot format and the number we are already passing here then after the expanded visit we are we have to create the container here and that container we have to show our total amount of all the products and also we have to show our button for the print and here we have container and then the color we are using here colors dot gray color 200 and then we have the padding here and we are using here edge insert dot all 20 then we have the child here and in the child we are going to use row visit because we have to show in the left hand side we have to show our total amount in the right hand side we have to show our print button a row then we have the children's here now inside the children we are putting here text visit and here we are showing total dollar then we have to put here f dot format and here we have to pass underscore total and this is a total variable which we have created here for summing all that our product total price and all then we have to do our styling here and we are using here text style and we are putting a font weight font weight dot bold then we have to put a size box for space between the button and the total label and here we have the weight 80 then again we are going to use here expanded visit and that we required for our button the child we are going to use here text button dot icon because we are also going to show the icon with our button and the icon we are using here icon start print icon and then we have the label here and we are using a text visit and label we are passing a print and here we have the on press event that we will cover later on then we have to do some styling here and we are using a text button dot style from and here we are passing a primary and that will be the color for our text colors dot white color then we have our background color and we are using it colors dot green color so now let's run the application to see how the ui is looking in our device and before that we have to map this home page in our main node dot file and here we have to remove all the unnecessary code and here we will link with our home page so now let's run the application so this is our application you can see here we are getting very beautiful ui and here we are having our product name then we have our price and you can see here price is coming in our format and then we have our quantity in the right hand side you can see here we are getting the total price of that product and the bottom you can see here we are getting a total and also we are getting the button for our print here so this ui is as per our you can say like for the pos application if we are making any pos application point of sale application the ui is similar to that ui so now let's move further to have the implementation of the print button and there we will do our bluetooth integration and then we have our printer integration and all so now we will create new page here the name of the page is print underscore page and we have already added the package that is bluetooth underscore print and we have to make sure we are using that minimum version of sdk and we have to go to our build or gradle and here we have to make sure we are using our minimum sdk version as a 21 because this plugin support only minimum version of 21 so now we will design our print page and there we will code for our bluetooth printing and all and we will make it as a stateful visit print page and we will remove the unnecessary code here and here we have to get the data from our home page that is the 
collection of data this data we have to get from our this data we have to send from this page to our print page for that we have to create a variable here and here we have final list map string dynamic data and that we will pass in our constructor this dot data and here we will create some variables first one is a bluetooth print and here we have to create that variable name bluetooth print is equal to bluetooth print dot instance then we have to make one more variable list type of bluetooth print and here we have underscore devices and it will give us all that our bluetooth devices in this collection then we have to create one more variable underscore devices message and we will initialize with our empty then again we have to use our this variable of number format and all and we will copy paste here so now here we will override our function of int state and here we have override void int state super dot int state and here we will write visit binding dot instance dot add post frame callback and here we will call the function which we are going to create and the name of the function is future void initialize printer and this function we are going to call from here then we will write the code in this initialize printer function and we will make this function as a async here and then here we will call bluetooth print dot start scan and here we will put the timer and the duration we are using here two seconds so what it will do it will start scanning for our bluetooth devices and all and here we'll put if not of mounted then we will return here and here we'll call bluetooth print dot scan result dot listen and here also we will put here if not of mounted return then here we will call set states and we will assign our devices is equal to and here we have well so whatever the values we are getting here we will assign with our devices so here we have to do some change here and here instead of putting a bluetooth print we have to put a bluetooth devices because we are going to have the devices list and here we have assigned the value here then here we will check if underscore devices is empty then we will set the message here underscore devices message is equal to no devices so what we are doing here we have created one function initialize printer so what it will do it will just start scanning that bluetooth devices in our device then we are just checking here if not of mounted then we will call here return then we are calling here bluetooth print dot scan result so it will give us all the result for the scanning and it we will fill our devices array with our scan result and in case the device result is empty then then we will show the message of no devices then here in the build visit we have to change it to scaffold visit and then we have to put here app bar and here we have app bar title we are using here text visit select printer and then we have the background color and we are using a color dot red descent and then we have the body part and here we are checking if devices dot is empty and then we are showing here with the center visit we are showing here text underscore devices message in the else condition we are showing here list view builder and here we have list view dot builder then we have the count here item count and we are putting here devices dot length and then we have the item builder here and here we will return list style and the leading we are using here icon and we are using a icon slot print icon and then we have the title here and we are using here text visit underscore devices and here we have index then we have the name here device name we will show here and then we have the subtitle the subtitle we are going to show our address of the device underscore devices i dot address then we have the on type event that we will cover later on so we have created our visit for showing our devices list and all so before starting that uh, application we have to make sure we are putting some of that uh, permission in our android so if we are going to use it in our android application we have to put some permission because in our android version after 10 we are we require some special permission for accessing the bluetooth and all so here we will go to our android manifest.xml and here we will put uses permission android and the name is android.permission.bluetooth then we will copy again we will paste here and the second permission bluetooth underscore admin and then we have the third permission that is access underscore find underscore location because that bluetooth also required the location permission also and then we have the access background location and this is specially required in our android version 11 so all these four permission is required if we want to use the bluetooth functionality in our application and we will copy this again and we will paste in our debug dot android manifest file also so now we will run this application in a real device not in the emulator so so that we can search for our printer and all so before that we have to call this print underscore page from our home page and we will go here 
and here we have our on press event for the print button and here we will put navigator dot push then we have the context then here we have the material page route and here we will call print page and here we will pass the data here so now we will run our application to see is it working or not so here you can see we have our application and here we have to on our bluetooth then we have to on our location also so now if we go to the print it is asking for the permission we have to use here while using the app so it will give us all the bluetooth devices here so you can see here in the screen we are getting the two bluetooth devices first one is mi smart band 5 then we are getting a image watch so our bluetooth connectivity is working fine so now let's move further to have the integration of our bluetooth with our printer So now we will create a new function in our print page and that function will be used to print up page via bluetooth and here we have future type of void underscore start print and we will pass here our parameter and the parameter will be bluetooth device device async so basically we are going to call this function start print from here and here we are just passing our device selected device on which we are going to do the printing and all and here we will check if device is not equal to null and device dot address not equal to null then we will call here await blueprint bluetooth print dot connect and we will pass this device here and it will connect that, that device and here we will create some variable and the first one is a map type of string dynamic config is equal to map and if there is any requirement for any configuration for that particular print and all th that we can pass in this function so as of now we don't have such requirement then we have to create our list of content over for that printing and all and here we will create list line text and this line text is basically used for printing and all then we have list is equal to and we will initialize with the empty array and we will fill this list with our line text whatever we want to print on that uh, printer and here we have list dot add and here we have line text and here we have the type and the type we are going to use here line text dot type underscore text and then we have the content here and the, that will be our title grocery app then we have the weight here we are putting it to to make it a more bold and and increase the font and all then we have the width here we are putting a 2 then we have the height here we are putting a 2 then we have the alignment and we are using here line text dot align center because we have to show this in the center of that page and then we have the line feed 1 and line feed is basically used if we want to give any line break and all after any text for, for that purpose we use a line feed and then here we will do the looping and all and by doing the looping from our data which we are getting from the home screen this data and that data we are going to show here with a loop because we having a multiple products and all and here we have for loop where i is equal to zero and then we have i less than width widget dot data dot length and then we have the i plus plus then we have a list dot add and here we will add line text type we are using here line text dot type text then we have the content here and the content we pick from our visit dot data and here we will put that index then we have to pick the title here and the title will be our product name and all and then we have the weight here and we are using here zero and then we have the align and we are putting here line text dot align left and then we have the line break and we are using here one and then we have the list dot add and here we have line text type we are using here line text dot type text then we have the content here and we are using a dollar f dot format this dot visit dot data index then we have our price here then we have to show here quantity this dot visit dot data i then we have to put here quantity and then we have the line here and we are using the same line 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 text dot align left and then we are putting here line feed one so now we have to call this function from here and here we will pass device so now let's run the application to and do the printing and all and let's see is it working or not so this is our application so here we have list of that content of data and now if i click on that print button now we will select the printer here so it will get printed out from our device so you can see here that printout has been came so this is the printout which came from our printer so that's all in this video i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome videos thank you all